Hey everybody, it's Mod6 coming at you with another Call of Duty mobile video. I'm the only Call of Duty YouTuber that you know that's actually been to war. My perspective on this game is a little bit different. I get into the tactics and the specific techniques that are kind of related between my past career and playing the game now. I've also played first person shooter games for over 30 years and so what you need to do is hit the subscribe button like the video before we even get into it and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss any of my videos about Call of Duty Mobile. Now, what does my perspective say this time? You should probably be using the QQ9 as your primary weapon in Call of Duty right now, and this is the loadout that you should be using. Change it to this. Change it to this right now. Let's get into it. Yeah. Love it, love it. All right, let's get into this QQ9 loadout. This thing is my main weapon right now. The HG40 is taking a backseat to the QQ9. The loadout is out of control, and I'm absolutely murdering in ranked play right now. Haven't gotten to legendary yet, but I'm playing with all of the legendary players after reset. Let's get into the gunsmith loadout for the QQ9. All right, so here is the setup of attachments. On the muzzle, we have the MIP light flash guard. Now, the reason I chose this over the tactical suppressor or some of these others is the hidden muzzle flash is a major advantage. I think that that is one of the most overlooked aspects of this muzzle. And the ADS accuracy, hip fire accuracy, both of those, all three of those are a major advantage. Now, the QQ9 already has very fast ADS speed, and I'm not running an optic on this. So this is the area where I take the ADS speed hit. I think the upside with this muzzle is huge. And so that is why we've got the MIP light flash guard as our choice. A couple of other possibilities. We've got some things that we that, that just affect accuracy. I don't want to see bullet spread accuracy affected by, on the QQ9 because this gun already kind of sprays pretty wide anyway. It also has shorter range than many other weapons. And so while we might be able to run the suppressor, we definitely don't want to limit our damage at range or affect ADS movement speed and ADS speed just to have the silence. I like the muzzle that hides muzzle flash, increases hip fire accuracy, and increases the accuracy when ADSing. So this MIP light flash guard is a huge advantage on this weapon in this loadout. For the barrel, we've got the RTC Recon Tac Long. So this increases that accuracy again when we're ADSing and increases damage at range. And this is where we take another ADS speed hit. So we're taking into account that we're taking ADS speed hits here, and you'll notice I do a decent amount of hip firing with this weapon as well. Now the stock, we are going after accuracy at long range, flinch stability, and some recoil stability as well. What I really built this loadout for is to absolutely shoot like a laser at long range and be effective at short range, especially when hip firing. So that's what you see here. Knowing that we take a movement speed hit here, this is a high mobility weapon from the beginning, so I'm okay with taking that hit, but you have to take that into account when you're deciding what movement techniques to use, knowing how fast you're gonna be moving when you're aiming down sights. For our underbarrel, what we have is the strike foregrip. Going after recoil control and accuracy with this, taking the movement speed hit, which we kind of account for in the fact that it's a submachine gun. But again, I've slowed the QQ9 down and we'll get into why. And I really go after accuracy to find some balance with this gun. And then our last portion here is the rubberized grip take with vertical recoil control. And then we give back a little bit in the ADS accuracy. So what I've created here is a gun that has a great balance of control and accuracy at range with some of that mobility loss. And the reason why that mobility loss is okay is because the rule in season nine right now is slow down your gameplay. 
have more patience, slow down your gameplay. In season nine, everyone I see that's rushing in is getting killed by Molotovs, right? The, the enemy Molotov, be, you know, be careful enemy Molotov. The, those warnings are all over every single game, especially on ranked. Frankly, you're smart if you're running Molotov as a lethal, but it makes slowing your gameplay down even more important, knowing there's that much more danger on the map, especially around the objectives. So what I've done with this gun is increase accuracy, increase range. It still feels like the QQ9 from last season, but I'm slowing my gameplay down anyway, and so a little bit of a hit with the ADS speed and mobility movement speed with this gun is okay given that we're adjusting the gameplay style in that direction. So I think I've found a really great balance with this, the QQ9. You see I've got it upgraded to the level 47, so I haven't unlocked everything, but this is a really balanced feel, and uh, I mean, in ranked play, it's doing great right now. And so we're gonna get into some of that gameplay and you'll see what I'm talking about with the balance between aiming down sights, hip fire, and what some of these kill streaks look like. All of this is ranked play with people coming right out of Met Legendary from last season. And so let's get into it, see this thing in action, copy this loadout. Makes it worth it. That's the way you want to finish it, baby. Woo, if I didn't get that kill. Pro cap. What a cap. Almost got him, almost got him. Gotta have that down. Yes, got the green, got the. Get out of my house, son. Woo! gonna capture am I gonna objective play with a katana right now targets in sight <laughs> oh get it baby what was that was that the nastiest katana sequence you've ever seen what do you mean so small and simple Bing, right at the front door.
That long boy. Boop. Shit is hectic on Nuketown right now. Push. Steal the exit corner. Stealing it, stealing it, stealing it, stealing it, stealing it. Stealing it. Come on, come on, come on! Yes! Yes! Oh! Oh, stole his Goliath, baby! Stole that Goliath! For the C cap! What do you want from me? Woo! They don't like me on this team right now. They do not like it. Woo! You're gonna make my highlight reels, son. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Get out of there, baby! You saw me height at the end of those highlights, and there's a reason for that. Number one, it was on the stream. Go follow the stream. Twitch.tv slash mod6. That's M-O-D-S-I-X. You know the name. You should go follow the stream on Twitch and catch me Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. Eastern. Saturdays where I play with subscribers at 11 a.m. Eastern. And Sundays at 10 a.m. where I'm usually grinding legendary ranked play in both Battle Royale and multiplayer. This loadout was crazy, though. Crazy. Use the QQ9, let me know. See if you can beat me to that gold camo. I'm not there yet, but it's gonna happen today. If you enjoyed the video, like it, man. This is a lot of fun making this content for you guys. Share those videos so I get just the 5,000 subscribers. That's what we want, 5,000 subscribers. I have this weird goal because on Discord, for the Call of Duty Mobile Discord, to get a content creator uh, title, tag, whatever, in that Discord, you need to have 5,000 subscribers plus a bunch of other criteria I've already met. So hit the button. You know you want to. Check out the next video in the next couple of days. Thanks for watching, guys. Mod 6, out. <laughs>